cleaning the end of my axles out. There's always a little bit in there that a little bit of material, brass material gets in there when we're dressing up the end of it. So we got to make it big enough so our axle will poke through. Make sure that's all good to go. It is. Do this axle. That is. That is. Okay, now we can set these. First one set. Second one set. Get that down. Almost cut the wrong wheels. Now, you should not have to uh, cut much off these axles. Okay, there's that, and there's that. Okay, we're going to do a mock up here. Just to give you a good idea what this thing's going to look like. how easy it's been to put it together. What would have been easier is if the axles would have fit, been the same size, you could have just snapped them in, and, you know, been done with it. But that is not always the case. everything wants to flip out because it's not glued so we got to cut these things remember because we've got that got tubes in there now not just axles tubes so we got to cut these so it'll sit down over it no it don't take a whole lot I mean you still want to keep your still want to keep that there because it kind of centers the mid chassis the rest of the body See if it'll go down over it now. See how much better that looks? Look at it from the rear. How fat that meat silk on it. I like the way that, that tar is rounded on that wheel, on these Steelys. How it's rounded, it looks more like a real slick. Look at that, big and beefy. Big and beefy in the rear. Didn't have to cut no wheel well. The only thing we had to do is we had to take a moment and we had to cut our brass axle tubes and uh, um, and then be careful when we ran our drill bit in to clearance it for our tube to go in and put our tubes in. And now we can glue our tubes, glue our wheels at the same time. In 24 hours, we'll have it custom. I think it looks pretty good too. That's a sharp looking ride. 89 cents for each car so that's uh buck 16 18 dollar 78 plus tax uh the four of these are 4.99 so or 3.99 so four dollars these are about a dollar a piece and you get about 10 tubes out of them 10 cars so uh uh, you know, that's about 10 cents a piece. So 20 cents in that. So less than $3. 
you've got a custom car that uh, uh, looks different from from what come out of the package and looks really cool. So we'll get that all glued up and we'll get pictures of it. And uh, we'll do the, we'll do this one in the same way, this car in the same way. And we'll show you pictures of it when it's done. Same amount of money on both. Not even $4, three, not even $3. That's how you do it. Okay, now we got the wheels popped out. We took these uh, aero disc out and the axle fit perfect out from under the old Camino with the Steelys in this chassis. So we're good there. We went to fit our rears in and they are just missing. And, and what the problem is, is that little hub right there that sticks down. Now, from experience, I've always tried to cut this hub off and it never works out right. So I've had better luck at C-notching the chassis right there. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, it's still just a little tight. Still just a little tight, it needs just a little bit more. You gotta be careful, you don't wanna do it too much. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice and easy, see that? And we didn't have to use, didn't have to use the axle tubes. There you go, fat tires. Looking good. Okay, here we are. Rolls just like a regular Hot Wheel. And of course, you don't get to roll out of brass tubes. You know, but it rolls. But you don't get that roll. That's why you want to try to keep it to be a to go back in there like like the regular axle did, like it was sent from Hot Wheels. That's the best roll you're going to get. Uh, brass axle tubes will put any wheel you want at the right spacing on the car for aesthetic purposes, and that's the difference between the two. But you know, got a cool looking car here. Nice big meets under the rear. You know, we still got to drill it and put it together, but I'm going to do a little paint work on the interior and a little, little work out here on the grill and make this thing a little, look really cool and uh, give it away to somebody. That's what I'm going to do with it. So, uh, you know, we'll let everything dry up from being uh, glued and, and, uh, and that's how you put two together real cheap, an aesthetic type and one back the way it should be and roll down a orange track like it's supposed to. So for less than $2, less than $3, and definitely with all the other stuff, uh, on the average, uh, that's what you can do. You can have a custom Hot Wheel on your own bench.